Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. And I'm going to talk about reducing strikes that happen high on the driver face. So when the ball hits too much of the top of the head, top of the face, this can mean also the crown of the club, but I'm really just talking about the top of the face. The shots that kind of just go up and don't really go very far and often it don't sound good and not a good hit. Um, and often I see golfers making the same mistake when this happens, and I want to give some advice about fixing that. The important factor to know is that when coming down to hit the driver, we want to either get a slight up hit into the back of the ball, a club coming through the ball level, or a club coming into the ball slightly on the way down. But you've not got a huge window there. You can go a little bit down, level, or a little bit up. It's the one that hits too far down Do we get that top of the crown strike. Often when players hit too far down, they're coming into the ball, and I'll turn this way to show that, almost into the ball too steeply. This club is starting to move up and over, and as it gets to here, it's starting to really come down into the back of the ball, and it hits down, it takes a blast the tee out of the ground and often hits the ground actually post impact the driver head actually hits the ground post impact and obviously the result then is a, a very high strike on the face and just no distance to reduce this action coming down and to reduce that steepness a lot of it comes down to what this right shoulder does coming down into the shot because if that right shoulder gets too quick and active, the club will go out and it'll result, it'll get quite steep. So it's, it's allowing your shoulders to be a little bit more patient coming down. Once you get to the top of your swing and you've turned back fully, it's allowing your lower body to rotate and your upper body being very patient until you hit the shot. Really trying to hold that right shoulder back so it doesn't get too active. And often the result, when you hit too high on the face, the ball doesn't go very far. And the next shot, we go at it harder. And when we go at it harder, the shoulder gets even more active and we even hit more up in the air. So the best, best advice for this is that a dress up, a setup, making sure you get into a dress position that will allow you to move this club slightly more on the way up into the back of the ball. And then really consciously, con putting your mind and attention onto this right shoulder staying back, staying patient. This right shoulder staying backwards behind your left shoulder for a right the golfer. When that happens, we'll hit much more from the inside and much more shallow, resulting in a contact that comes either more in the middle of the face or even slightly lower on the face, which might be a different sensation for you at first. So if I do that from this side, get to the top, allow my body to rotate lower body, but my shoulder is staying back. I'm not letting that shoulder get too active until right at the last moment. So I'll hit that and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of show it you as well. Keeping that right shoulder delayed. And strike on that one was much more in the middle of the face, right on the equator line of the face. You notice I didn't hit any ground. I just popped the tee out of the ground. The tee nearly hit the camera actually. But it never, I never got the club moving too low, too deep. And a lot of it comes that that shoulder wants to get really active on the shot. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. If you have, do click thumbs up. Comment below. Do you struggle with a shot like this? If you do, work on keeping that right shoulder back, delaying that right shoulder till you hit the shot and you'll strike the ball much, much better. It's going to take patience and a little bit of practice. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to sub subscribe by clicking the big red button down here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.